very good afternoon uh, students i am shweta singh assistant professor in soit uh, my presentation topic is system analysis and design basics of system analysis and design this topic belongs to iset uh, iset paper information system analysis and design which is from bca 6 semester paper system analysis and design what is the objective uh, to read this paper to study this paper is define the term system system analysis and system design what are the basic type of system describe the principal function of the system analysis list and describe phases of the system development life cycle describe the various data gathering and analysis tool describe a selection of system design tools alternative approaches through structured analysis and design explain the role of the maintenance tasks in the system development life cycle so this uh, this is the content which i'll discuss in the uh, ppt what is uh, sad system analysis and design what are the system analysts what are the system development life cycle what are the feasibility study design development and implementation this is all about i said information system analysis and design mm -hmm. uh first we have to know what is system set of details method procedures and routines established or formulation to carry out specify activities perform a duty to solve a problem this is the system what is system analysis system analysis uh is divided into survey and planning study and analysis and the definition and what is system design the process of defining the architecture component modules interfaces and data for a system to satisfy specified requirement what is the need for system analysis and design installing a system without proper planning leads to great user dissatisfaction and frequently causes the system to fall into disuse lends structure to the analysis and design of information system a series of processes systematically undertaken to improve a business through the use of computerized information system what is the role of system analyst analyst the analyst plays a key role of in information system development project must understand how to apply technology to solve business problem analyst may serve as change agent who identify the organizational improvement so basically system analyst plays a very important role in a system development life cycle this is the main uh, we can say main person who involved from the initial phase to the last phase in the software development what are the qualities of the system analyst uh, it should be a problem solver it should be a communicator it should be a strong personal or professional ethics self disciplined and self motivated system analyst recommend design and maintain many type of system for user these are the specific level of the system first is the uh, we can start from the uh, low level which is the operational level second one is knowledge level then higher level and then strategic level so the uh, this is the picture in which we will uh, deal with the different type of processing system different type of uh, management information system different type of level we will deal with the uh, organization first is the operational level in which we will deal with the transaction processing system which is uh, called tps it is a process of large amount of data for routine business transaction first is boundary spanning it is concerned with the deduction of information it has two primary sources and two main sources primary sources of information is deduct information second is send information into the environment presenting the company in a favorable light what are the main sources of information business intelligence and competitive information second one is the knowledge level in which we will deal with the office automation system and knowledge work system what is oas supports data worker who share information but do not usually create new knowledge examples should be word processing and spreadsheets knowledge work system are the uh, system in which uh, which supports professional workers such as scientists engineers and doctors uh, examples should be computer aided design system virtual reality system investment workstation third is higher level in which 
uh, we have management information system, which is also called MIS. Example of MIS is word processing, spreadsheet, desktop, email, electronic uh, scheduling. Second is decision support system, which helps for decision makers in the making of decision. Example should be financial planning with what if analysis, budgeting with modeling. Second is the expert system. Uh, which is used in artificial intelligence, captures and uses the knowledge of an expert for solving a particular problem, which leads to a conclusion or recommendation. Example should be Mycin, which is the expert system that uses in artificial intelligence. Right? XCON, expert uh, configure is the another expert system. There are many expert systems. Next is the strategical level. Strategic level. Uh, is the uh, most important level, uh, main uh, management deal with that particular level, uh, which involve executive support system, which helps executive to make understand strategic decision in an informed way. Examples are drill down analysis, status access. Second is group decision support system, which is also called GDSS, which permits group member to interact with electronic support. Examples are emails, Lotus notes. Last is, uh, which used in a strategical level is CSCWS, Computer Supported Collaborative Work System. Examples are the video conferencing web service system, which is, uh, these are the all about different type of level, different type of uh, information system, which use at different, uh, uh, different, different uh, levels. Uh, Next is system analyst needs to be aware that integrating technology affects all type of system, wireless system, ERP system, e-commerce and web system. Uh, what are the e-commerce and web system? What are the basic benefits? Increasing user awareness of the availability of a service, possibilities of 24 hours access for user, improving usefulness and usability of interface design. Next is enterprise resource planning system, ERP performs integration of many information system existing on different management level and within different function. Examples are, examples of ERPs are SAP and Oracle. Next is wireless system. There are uh, many system which are uh, using in the environment. Examples are Microsoft's new software based on uh, Bayesian's statistics, where, which are based on artificial intelligence. System analyst may also ask to develop intelligent agents. Wireless communication is referred as M-commerce, mobile commerce. Next is open source software, uh, open source software OSS. Open source software is free to distribute, share, and modify, characterized as a philosophy rather than simply the process of creating new software. Example of open source software are Linux operating system, Apache web server, Mozilla, Zoomla, ePrint. Uh, these are the example of open source software. Uh, next is system development lifecycle, uh, which also plays a very important role. Uh, it has some steps. First is identify problem. Second is determining human information requirement. Third is analyzing system needs. Then designing the recommended system. Then developing and documenting software. After developing, uh, we have testing and maintaining the system, implementing and evaluating the system. Identifying problems, opportunities, and objective. There are various activities like interview, uh, user management, summarize the knowledge obtained, estimating the scope of the project, documenting the result. And output is the feasibility report containing problem definition and objective summaries from which management can make a decision on whether to proceed with the uh, proposed project. Analyzing system needs. Uh, there are uh, activities like creating a data flow diagram, complete the data dictionary, analyze the structure decision uh, made, prepare and present the system proposal. Output is the recommendation on what, if anything, should be done. Designing the recommended system. Designing is one of the important part in which we design procedures for data entry. Uh, we design the human computer interface, design system control, design files, design backup. Output is model of the actual system. Develop and documenting uh, software activities are system analysts work with programmers to develop any original software, works with user to develop effective documentation, 
Output is computer program and system documentation. Last is testing and maintaining the system. Activities are test the information, system maintenance, maintenance, documentation. Output is problem, if any, updated programs and documentation. Last is implementing and evaluating the system. Activities are trained user, analyst plans, smooth conversion from old system to new system, review and evaluate system. Output is trained personnel, installed system. What is the impact of maintenance? Uh, maintenance is performed for two reasons, removing software errors, enhancing existing software. Resource consumption over the system life cycle. This is the diagram in which we have the consumption of resources. Amount of resources consume time and money, system development, minor changes, major changes in both business and technology. Uh, next is feasibility study. We have three types of feasibility study. Technical feasibility, can we build it? Economic built uh, feasibility, study, uh, feasibility should be built it and organizational feasibility. If we build it, will they come? These are the three types of feasibility analysis. Technical feasibility is can we build it means famil uh, familiar with application, familiar with technology, project size and compatibility. Economic feasibility should we build it means we will deal with the cost like development cost, operating cost, annual benefit, intangible cost and benefit. Last is organizational feasibility. If we built it, will they come? Means project champion, senior management, user, other stakeholder is the project strategically aligned with the business. Next is object-oriented system analysis and design, OOSAD. Analysis is performed on a well part of the system followed by design and implementation. The development cycle repeats with analysis, design and implementation of the next part. And this repeats until the project is complete. Alternative approaches through structured analysis and design and to the system development life cycle is agile approach, prototyping, ethics, project champion approach, soft system methodology, SSM, and multi-view. Summary is information is a key source system that system analysts deal with many type of information system, integration of traditional system with new technologies, roles, qualities, and skills of the system analyst, the system development life cycle, feasibility analysis, alternate approaches to structured analysis and design, and to the SDLC. So this is all about system analysis and design. Thank you so much.